good morning from the mountains. Today is the opener for uh, rifle elk season here in Washington. Basically, the majority of my family that's here is just chasing elk with a rifle. I, on the other hand, is here to just have fun and maybe film my bear tag. So, there's my 22 in my bag. So, hopefully I see a couple grouse today. If I don't see a bear, I still have the big boy for a bear. Today, I'm just out here to enjoy, enjoy it, you know? I waited a whole year to finally have these hunting opportunities and I'm not gonna just sit at home because I don't have a legit season to hunt. So I'm just here to have fun and maybe pack out an elk. banana before it gets squished in my bag real quick. So originally I was planning to go down here but I got over there. I ain't got over there. So I'm climbing back up over there. We'll try another spot. I really just want a sand glass. So I'm gonna go and try to find a good glassing spot and hopefully a bear comes out. Yes guys! I was walking up there. I looked. I saw this little bone. I take seven steps. Boom! A little, a little chewed up, but that thing is a monster. Five by five, or five by something. If he wasn't a little chewed up, his G's would probably be like way up here. Here's what I'm saying, like, do this thing. I would not mind seeing this guy in two weeks. Woo! Boom! I wish it was just a little fresher. I was coming up there and I was like, what the heck am I? Why am I not getting to the road? This is exactly why I came up here. Heck yeah, baby. I found my biggest four point mule deer shed uh, just last weekend when we were mule deer hunting. I found my biggest whitetail sheds today. That's awesome. He's a little chewed up, but he's still, he's still pretty good. So I'm gonna take him. It just dawned on me. I have found sheds for the past three Saturdays in a row. Opening day for mule deer, I found a little two point shed. Fast forward to next Saturday, I found that four point mule deer shed. Fast forward to today, five point whitetail shed. Maybe next week, it'll be an elk shed. Or maybe I just jinxed it and I won't find anything. Guys, that is a fresh bull elk track. It went down here. I just came from up down there. That is a super fresh elk track. That means the elk are still in the area. You see that? Definitely came from up here. Yay, the road's right there. That is an elk track for sure. The elk are still here. Look, it even peed right here. It just peed and then it took a dump right here. Went over there. That isn't just one elk. That's a herd of elk. That is elk. That is elk. That deer is by far one of the most tame white-tailed deers I've ever come across. I was walking right here. 
I, I kind of stopped right there. I kind of glanced at this. I just saw this tail canoe waving. I got out right there. She's probably standing 20 yards. She was just eating. She didn't even care about me. She's just right there. I still see her. So she's just minding her own little business. That's cool. That's probably, that's probably like 25, 30 yards. That's the first deer I've seen all day. And that's actually the only thing I've seen all day. Just a deer. No bears, no grouse, no elk, no nothing. It's just that deer. Dang it. I was just walking right here. I looked right there. I was like, why is there a chicken in the middle of the road? It was a rough grouse. He didn't see me. As soon as I saw him, I took him in. I swear I heard it perch. Is this some kind of joke on me? I was literally talking about how I couldn't find it and I heard it like, I heard it crying or calling or doing whatever. What the heck is it? He's up in the tree, I know that. But when you look at the trees, what the heck? I'm not gonna spend my time trying to find this guy in the tree when I can just go find other ones that are in the open though so I still I still can go try and look for the first one I bumped all right so I came over here I bumped another grouse I, bu I bumped my first one he just came and landed somewhere in these trees and I just I just can't find it I'm just gonna walk the roads because with the Sun coming out like this a lot of animals they want to come and dry the feathers and you know just relax in the Sun so that's what I'm gonna do just walk the roads now So those two grouse, I don't know if they're the same ones or the two different ones, but literally I bumped earlier, I bumped two grouse right in that spot. It's been about two hours probably. And then me and my dad, we came right there. They were literally in the same spot and they scared off. And I gave, my gun, I gave the gun to my dad and just bumped it. I just bumped another grouse right in the same, basically same spot. I think he's one of the grouse that we've been bumping. I ain't gonna let it escape this time. fail I basically walked right under him if I was gonna have one opportunity to shoot a grouse that was it that is so dumb I literally walked right under the grouse and then when it started flying I was probably like right here and the grouse was probably like right there and then I saw it and then 
flew over here. I just don't know if he passed or if he perched again. These grouse have just been playing me all day. Camp number two, staying here, hunting over here tomorrow. from the campfire guys today is 29th of October I felt a little lazy today I didn't go hunt this morning uh, but the other the other three they all went up there I just decided to sit by the fire and warm up because yesterday was a very very cold night yesterday was cold I had three jackets on I had my hunter orange vest in here and I put over my rain jacket I had two layers of sleeping bags and that was enough to just make it to the point where you were warm so yesterday was not, uh, pretty cold like right now everything's just frosted all the all the grass and all the weeds just warming up my shoes right here so I could put it on and just slowly go hike for the heck of it so they say early bird gets the warm but late bird gets the bear mistake but anywho you can see these things it's just like perfect perfect habitat to see deer so I'm just slowly working my way over there until they come back my main goal is just try to get footage let's hope we run into a couple of deer hopefully a buck get some good footage for you guys I using the camcorder because I'm too tired of switching off and on. I was literally saying, I want to get some cool footage for you guys. I take one step and then all these like chicken heads start walking in the, the grasses. I'm like, what the heck? And the sun was gleaming on them, so I, I saw the bright red color. 
So I thought, oh, that's a turkey. They're still right there. I see them. And they're just sunbathing. And this is, I'm 99% sure, this is the same flock of turkeys that Dave and we were trying to set up on opening morning of this year's, this past season. And they were roosted right behind me over here. And right down over there is where Josh actually shot his turkey from last year. So I'm pretty sure this is, this flock is the same. Oh, it's right there. I was like, oh, let me get some cool footage for you guys. Two steps. Turkey's right there. I thought it was a, I thought it was a white tail at first because I just saw a flash move. And then I thought it was a bear because it was black. And then I don't know where there's like 10 more of them. So I was like, what the heck? That can't be no bear. I don't know if you guys heard that. I'm really far away. And if those aren't people, those are wolves howling. I heard like four different howls. The first one, I didn't even really think of anything. I was just still filming that squirrel, right? And here he comes right there. Hi, little buddy. You guys see him? Around that log. Oh, there he goes. I scared him. Wolves are howling over here.